Welcome to SITREP, Army news that affects you. If you're looking to get politically active, there are a few things you should know. Regardless of your views or which way you lean, there are some do's and don'ts when it comes to your involvement. Let's start with the no-nos. You cannot make public political speeches, serve in any official capacity in partisan groups, distribute campaign literature, participate in partisan political campaigns or conventions, display a large political sign or poster on a private vehicle, or display a partisan political sign, poster, banner, or anything similar at your residence on post. That includes privatized housing. Also, you cannot use official titles when participating in political activities. On the flip side, these are some of the things you can do. Join a political party. Display a political bumper sticker on your car. Express a personal opinion on political candidates and issues, just not as a representative of the armed forces. Sign a petition to place a candidate's name on an official ballot and attend political rallies, fundraising activities, meetings, debates, conventions as a spectator, but not in your uniform. Last but not least, you can vote. Soldiers positioned all over the globe who want to vote this November need to act now. All you need to get started is the federal postcard application, also known as the GSA Standard Form 76. This will get you registered with your correct district. You can download the form from the Federal Voting Assistance Program website at fvap.gov or visit a voting assistance officer wherever you're stationed. Because there are a lot of restrictions placed on military personnel when it comes to political involvement, just make sure you're informed before you act. You can get the full range of do's and don'ts from DOD Directive 1334.10, which outlines all of the political activities by members of the armed forces. And as always, if you have any topics that you need more info on, hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Sergeant Santana, out.